Well, we are here in Asheville, and if you've never been, it is one of the most beautiful places in the country. There's so much to do here, including the River Arts District. Patty Torno is actually one of the founders who started all of this excitement, and you can come check it out. So what uh, started all this, the founding? Well, 25 years ago, this was the other side of the tracks. You didn't really want to be down here, but it, it lent itself to a place where artists wanted to land because there was big space. And anybody looking for studio space, big wide open space is what you're looking for. So tell us a little bit about the history and where this all began. Well, Asheville has a tradition of craft that goes back 100 years plus. Um, if you think about the people who built the Biltmore House, they all stayed. So the incredible, craft, incredible craftspeople from Europe and from this location just became the basis for the artist history here in Asheville. Okay, so with all this blossoming, you've had a lot of great artists. You're an artist yourself, I of am. course, with all this great, great work you've been doing. Crazy. So yeah. tell us a little bit about what there is to do here. Well, the interesting thing is, for a long time there was just studio space, but in 2005, that was the first time that you could actually come see some studios and stay in the district to have lunch and then go see some more studios. And that's so awesome. that's been a really amazing pairing of what we call the creative independent commerce of the River Arts District. And it makes it a lot of fun because people can kind of interact. One it's of the great things yeah. that we're gonna be interacting with, I believe, is glass wood. We're gonna see you blowing glass. Okay, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Me and fire, I don't you know and how fire, that works. It'll be great. <laughs> but I have heard it's very exciting, so let's it go check it out. It's very exciting. So we are here at the Asheville Glass Center, and of course, I'm joined by Alex, which by the way, Alex and Alex. Alex is going to teach Alex how to turn into an awesome glass blower. That's right, I'm gonna show you a couple of steps in the process of how we might make uh, any number of uh, different objects, including paperweights or cups, any Very sort of cool. vessel. And the great thing about this is that people, when they come here, they actually get to see you making this stuff mm -hmm. as you do it, and then they can buy it. So I'm gonna get into the mix. So I sit down here, and then what do I do? Right, so the first thing we're gonna learn to do is sitting at the bench and handling the equipment in a safe way. Okay. So the pipe, you want to keep just your left hand on the pipe. Left hand on the pipe. Left hand on the pipe. Okay. And you just want to be able to roll it back and forth. Back and forth. Yeah, open like palm, this? just from heel to tips. Heel to tips. Mm -hmm. Open good. palm. Is that good? That's great. All right. It's looking good, just nice and slow lead and steady. Gla lead glass blower. Okay. That's right. And uh, that leaves your right hand open to use any number of the tools that we have over on this bench. Tools. Okay. So the thing that we're going to use the most, this is the most important, one of the most important hand tools in glass blowing known as the jacks. The jacks. So they have these twin blades, the handle, and a flat spot to touch the glass. Got it. So let me gather some glass out of the furnace. I'll bring it back here, and I'll show you some different ways that we can manipulate the glass with the handle. Super. OK, so remember, just your left hand on just the Just my left hand, no right hands. That's right. So I, go ahead and I solemnly swear to. I hope so. OK. <laughs> sign the waiver. I signed the waiver. <laughs> OK. All right. So you can see that it's trying to kind of drip off center. So you want to try to let it fall back. You want to try to let it fall back. Sort of nice and slowly oh, just kind of move it back and And keep it so that it doesn't turn into like a half lopsided. Yep. OK, so. Let's pick up these tweezers. Okay, these ones? Yep, and hold them a little bit closer to the tip, like okay. up here. Up here? Yep, and you can use the tweezers to, to grab Whoa. and pinch. Okay. Or you can like, make a little indentions. <gasps> what? Anything like okay. that, so just kind of play around with that. Do I, am I supposed to move it at the same time? Yep, just kind of play around with it. And notice how quickly it sets up and wow. stops moving. This is the coolest thing I've ever done ever. All right, and then I roll it back the other way? Mm -hmm. What else should I do? Okay. Wait. Well, you know, it's starting to get kind of cold, so it's not moving that much. Oh, so that's why, why you I... put it in the furnace. Yep. So I'm going to heat it okay. up again, and I'll bring it back heat and play around up. a little bit. All right. Well, this is really, really awesome. You can make so many different and interesting things here, but I've loved visiting the Arts District. You've got so much incredible stuff to discover. And I, look at me. I made my own it's magical flower. glass flower. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for giving me something cool to make. You're welcome. You can, of course, check this whole place out. Blowing glass, blowing minds with that's Alex. Right. Thanks, Alex. That's for Glass Center. <laughs> the Glass Center. Of course, the River Arts District has lots of interesting and very cool stuff to do. And this is my awesome flower. All right, check it all out at exploreashville.com.